Hey guys, Kev here. Today we are going to be talking about Replica by Native Instruments. Now I'm not going to be doing a sound demo today and for the pure reason that it's a free plugin. Um, I know some on my free series that I used to do, um, I had a few people come in and say, hey, I want a sound demo. And my thoughts on that is it's a free plugin. I give you the link. I tell you what it's about. You go download it for free and decide if you like it or not. Um, those kind of my thoughts where it's at. And that's how I feel about Replica. Um, right now, it is the free um, holiday plugin that Native Instruments gives out. Everybody knows every year Native Instruments does give out one free plugin, um, usually around the middle of December until the first of the year. Um, this year, it's Replica. What it is, it's a delay, and it's actually a really interesting delay. Uh, at first, I wanted to compare it to FX Planches Bloom, and while I fear there is some overlap, I really feel that Replica is its own thing. Now, what made me think about this in terms of Bloom, because of the way I use Bloom, I use a lot of different kind of modulations with Bloom. And obviously right here, you see you have your modulation options. You have your phasers, your filter. I'm doing this with a mouse. I'm not next to my machine controller. So when, something about with a mouse and some of these plugins and machine, it just goes all over the place. Uh, versus when you use your actual machine, um, it notches over. Not sure if it does that in a regular DAW, but that's another story. But um, anyway, so you have your modulation options, and it's not as in full depth as Bloom. So if you already have Bloom, I don't think that this is going to necessarily change um, change your opinion on it. But I do think this has a few unique tools of its own. Mostly when you get into the delay modes, and then you can get into the um, different kinds of saturation. Of course, in the modern mode, you have the um, the vintage digital mode, which is really cool because then you could actually select the different qualities for your um, digital emulations for the old um, delays. And then your diffusion mode, which again, you can um, set the size, amount, and the movement um, types for your delay. Um, versus you have the filter on your, um, dig your vintage digital modes. And then on your modern mode, again, you have your filters and your saturation. I love this big knob, and then you have the various options on how to set up your delay timing. Um, wet, dry knob. You can have a wide ping pong or normal delay. And then you have your typical feedback knob. So it's a really, really simple, elegant design, but it actually um, offers quite quite a lot in terms of sound now again I'm not going to do a sound demo like I said before because this guy is free and I want to encourage you guys to go to native web instruments website and download it while it's free it's free till the first of the year on the January 1st 2015 so if you're watching this video afterwards and it is 50 bucks um, and even for 50 bucks I think this guy is worth it download the demo in that case um, and just play with it, just tweak it. I mean, it is a delay. So if you already have a um, solid delay collection or if you already have a couple of delays, I wouldn't necessarily tell you to go out and buy this one. I don't think this one is different enough um, to warrant that. And you can go out and do your own kind of modulation chains on the side, even with the standalone delay that comes in machine if you want to. Um, but for free or even for 50 bucks or if you don't have uh, much of a delay collection, I think this is definitely a guy to check out. Um, if not Bloom. Um, right now, I'm really actually kind of preferring this over Bloom, but I'm not sure if it's just that honeymoon stage because I've had it for about a day. Um, it's really simple to get into, really simple to learn. If you understand delays, you'll have this thing down in about 15 minutes. Let me know what you guys think about this guy in the comments below. Like the video if you like to share with a friend. I'll talk to you guys next time. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. See you soon.